Good morning, lovely people. It is Friday, July the 5th, and I am here to come on here to talk about what I have planned for dinners. And let me just tell you, I don't have anything planned. I was supposed to set that up last night and I did not, but I'm going to still show you guys what I have in my pantry um, and what I have in my fridge. And I'm going to create my well, grocery list and what I plan to cook for next week at work because baby girl is out of daycare today. So my husband is staying with her. So that means that I should be able to run in and out of H-E-B today and not get too like razzled or anything like that. The pantry looks like, so we actually still have a little bit of popcorn, but I'll probably pick up some. We need some more beef jerky. We do have some more pistachios. Y'all, I still have, um, I still have my nuts um, from, this is new chips, new chips, okay? But this was from the nachos that I made. I have one theater popcorn left. We still have enough. What is this? Tortillas. We'll get some more bread over here. We're still good on the Celsius packets. Uh, we have three of these left, so I can pick up a couple. I do have a, what is that called? A coupon. So I'll pick up, I think it's six and I get a dollar fifty off. We will need some more bars for baby girl. Over here, she still got some snacks. I don't know, but she has some pretzels back here. We need to get her to eat some. She has a couple more Pringles left. Animal crackers, I'll probably pick up some because she's been into that. And if you don't know, Baby Girl loves her peanut butter crackers. And she still has some veggie straws left. And she has been eating through. She has about two of these um, left in there. Um, she has oatmeal for breakfast. She has a couple of goldfish left that she's been in love with. And then <clears throat> I haven't put them in there, but this will last her another week. And um, we're good on all of our seasonings and stuff like that. And then we have a huge thing of coffee. So we're there because I did a bulk shopping last week with everything and I am just thinking about just keeping it simple like I have before and just doing chicken and low maintenance things. So let me show you what the fridge looks like. So this is the fridge. Um, I have some chicken down here that I'll probably see if my husband will make into curry chicken for Friday and we can enjoy that. And then I can season up this meat for dinner this weekend. We still have our yogurt that we can eat. We still have half eggs or half, half of eggs. But I'm assuming that they'll probably have eggs today. We'll have eggs tomorrow and we'll have eggs on Sunday. So I may just pick up a 12 count of eggs just to make sure we have enough eggs. And then that just needs to go in the garbage. And this is my lunch, y'all. And then when it comes down to here, um, we still have some like more. Oh, well, I guess he's almost ate them. But we have lots of cheese and things like that. So I can do like grilled cheese sandwiches for dinner on Saturday. Um, and so we have quite a few things. We still have salad left and some green peppers for tacos. And then we just have our condiments over here. So we are pretty good in some things. I don't think we need like a whole lot of things. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to put it together. And whenever I buy the food, then I'll be able to tell you guys what I actually bought. But I need to go ahead and um, make my coffee so I can head out the door. And I do just want to say this. I may actually, I may actually pick up some additional things <clears throat> because if you guys aren't aware or not paying attention, I mean, you wouldn't really have to, but this whole hurricane that's been out and about the last like week and a half almost, we may get the hurricane or we may get the dirty side of it and get a lot of rain and things like that. And so <clears throat> I just want to make sure that I have enough 
you know, things in the house to keep us sustained for just a couple of days in case we're unable to get out or, you know, they can't get in to deliver groceries and things like that. I just want to make sure that I'm prepared. I did do a little haul a while ago, so we do have some pastas. We have a bag of rice. Um, I don't feel comfortable, so I would like to have a little bit more beans um, and some more cornmeal. I'm just looking in like my pantry and a little bit more snacks. So like getting a little bit more nuts, pistachios, just some things like that to make sure it's in the house, especially this week, because they are projecting that this will happen between Monday and Wednesday. So I just want to make sure that we have enough going there. But yeah, y'all, so I am going to get ready and I'll show you guys what I end up getting from H-E-B. make sure we had a few extra things on hand for worst case scenario so I'm gonna head out baby girl actually did not go to daycare today she stayed home with dad so I was actually able to go kid free today to the grocery store so I'm gonna head home now my husband's supposed to be making some curry chicken so I hope that he made that and that's what we're gonna have for dinner and I'll show you guys what I ended up getting from HEB. I am home you guys so let me show you guys everything I got from HEB. Either with the personal items I spent $101. I did pick up some extra things like I stated for this potential storm coming so back here I picked up some more milk because I ended up getting myself some Catalina Crunch cereal for maybe some breakfasts this week so I picked up that and the one that we have is actually not good as long as they keep having these cherries we're gonna be picking them up they've been um, on really good deals y'all so we've been enjoying that baby girl has been asking for apple slices so I picked up some if y'all know me from way back in the day I used to always get these already pre-cut ones so I picked up some red slices of or red apple slices um, I saw my girl Tasha over at mind your money get some app um, some bananas and then I started craving them so I picked up a little bunch this was like a dollar and 22 cents I got baby girl some fiber protein and superfood pouches from happy talk I had a coupon if you get six you get a dollar 25 off I did get my husband one of these hard salami paninos because they had 75 cents off one pack and we still have some in the fridge so I didn't want to overdo it um, they had some black plums, so I picked up some of that and for three of these it was a dollar forty four I did pick up some light tuna in water. I picked up two dark um, Red kidney beans and two black beans to have on hand. I got baby girl some fruit and grain Cereal bars in the apple flavor. I picked up these protein bars the peanut and almond Just for a snack or for lunches for my husband and I picked up a fiber and protein um, Gluten-free oat bar for baby girl for breakfast in the mornings I picked up some beef jerky. This is peppered and this one is original. I wasn't going to get these, but they had them on sale that if you got two of them, you got $2 off. And that was actually a really good deal. And so I picked up two. So my husband now has some for lunch this week. And I also got him these um, 
blue diamond habanero barbecue almonds i love that they come in this little small container so it's just enough i got baby girl her peanut butter cookies this is the catalina crunch um keto friendly cinnamon toast cereal this is actually really delicious y'all and this was also on a coupon for two dollars off so i paid like four bucks for it and it's normally seven dollars um or three bucks off because it's normally seven i got the last bread y'all so it was a little kind of smush but i got the last bread and i just picked up a dozen large eggs i have not completed what i'm going to cook but i know that i'm gonna do some grilled cheese we're just gonna do some chicken we have salmon um we're gonna have our taco tuesdays i think we'll be fine um, I got some more of these smart food. I actually really prefer them in the package instead of like the big bag because then I don't overeat the actual serving size and the serving size is actually like manageable in my healthy eating. And then lastly, I picked up these two household items. We really need some like snack containers. So I picked these up because I was also thinking of doing like different lunches with like bread and our low carb tortillas and stuff and then i was just gonna try this out because once again they're just like different sizes and things like that we could try for lunches so um hopefully i'll get to use them this week so y'all can see how they work out but this was everything that i got you guys stay tuned for lunches next